What is going on, you lunatics? Guys, I've got some important information for you. I'm going to talk you through this as quickly as I possibly can. If you like the content, you know what to do, and we're going to get to all of your favorite portions. Uh, we're even going to talk about a new project today that I'm super excited about, but make sure you hit that like button. All right, first, Ripple has kind of stepped in here in proxy for Terraform Labs. Now, look, it is my opinion that Terraform Labs doesn't care about how much the penalty is because they can't pay it anyway. They only have about 75 million in liquid assets, so they have no availability, and they're required to burn the Luna, the Luna Classic, the you know all of their, they're required to burn all their tokens uh, forever so that they're gone. So you know they've got these rules that they have to abide by, and they can't liquidate that on the chart because that's you know what I mean? Like they're they're so um, th it's going to be an interesting thing to play out. But here's the point: Ripple steps in, says, you know what? The 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 amount of average penalties for all of these companies that the SEC sues is between 0.68 the amount of the occurrence and 1.27 percent the amount of the occurrence, which means that in at, at a maximum level at about one percent, that means that Ripple, who is, or that means that the Terraform Labs, who is allegedly on the hook for 40 billion dollars should be paying close to 400 million dollars not 4.4 or 4.5 billion dollars that they're supposed to be paying and then ripple is trying to step in and say you know what you can't treat crypto unfairly you have set precedent you have to do what you always had to do now terraform Labs screwing it up because i don't think they care because they don't have the money anyway but ripple is coming in saying uh-uh no this is not right so look if we quote unquote built business investments through our securities blah 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 that the sec is trying to get them on then if the amount was a billion dollars they should pay 10 million they shouldn't pay a hundred million or close to a billion you see what what gary gensler is trying to do is gouge these companies so what they're doing it, it is again my opinion but i think that terraform labs is the the lamb if you will, they get the $4.4 billion judgment because who gives a shit, you know, they're going bankrupt anyway. So the amount doesn't matter because the, the SEC knows they can't pay it. And then we, we all just move on and the money never gets collected except for maybe Duquan. You know what I mean? And probably settles and that probably gets settled too. This is posturing. I don't, there's, I don't think they're, they're, they're not able to pay and they're not going to pay four point four five billion dollars so you're, you're getting hosed at this point is the summary of my point now as far as price goes tax to gas is up here for a vote so far everybody's basically voted yes or they've uh, abstained so it looks like it's going to pass with absolutely no problems right now uh, you're getting you're getting yeses basically from everybody um strathcole did abstain but there you know there, there are certain people out here that might have vested interest in this proposal that should be on the sidelines for this vote so abstaining from voting on it uh is probably the most rational decision an appropriate decision in this regard so um i, I would be looking at most of the other ones are probably going to vote yes on it so but i don't know we'll, we'll see what happens again uh, almost everybody has voted yes so far. There's no no's at all. 22 people voted. 22 um, validators have voted so far. Looks like it's probably going to pass that threshold, and it's going to be an interesting thing, tax to gas. Uh, it's going to make it simpler for developers and, and programmers to build in this ecosystem. On Commonwealth, there's a conversation over here about problems with voting. You can read that. I'm not going to get into that. Uh, do that at your leisure. Uh, price chart. Uh, so, look, I, I think that you know we're getting it wrong over here, all right? And, I, and I've been right for a long time about price action when Luna Classic is going to or not going to do something. So uh, I feel confident when I make these determinations. And unfortunately, every once in a while, I am going to get it a little bit wrong. So uh, since you're not using me for financial advice, it doesn't matter. But if you were, then that would be silly. You shouldn't do that anyway. So you got nine days before the contest is over. Cryptonomy.finance is giving away 100,000 USD worth of Pepe. Not only that, we've got a mobile app coming very, very soon. Uh, we're also launching a public partnership with a strong team. Uh, it's going to result in one of the best exchanges on the market. Also, you're going to get some unique marketing information from Cryptonomy if you sign up today, and you'll get some trading opportunities for free. Cryptonomy.finance giving away $100,000 worth of USD. Pepe. This is going to take you through a 100 billion. I think Pepe is going to be the first 100 billion uh, crypto in meme coins. So don't miss out on this opportunity. Sign up today. Helps me out tremendously. Cryptonomy.finance. Don't forget it.
Uh, but to give you a breakdown of what I see and what my brain is telling me is, you know, I told you about this aggressive move that we were having right here, that it would break. Most likely it's going to break to the downside because of the way that it's trending, but there's always a possibility it could break to the upside. Well, it did not. It broke to the downside. And I told you that if that happens, then you have this longer structure right here, which would act as support as well. And guess what happened? Well, it broke that support. Now, <clears throat> this is a day chart. So as you can see, we haven't minted a candle outside of the range. There is a possibility of this just taking a breather right here and popping back into this range, coming back up to about 10.6, getting ready to consolidate for another big move, which is why I've got this drawn out right here, because I expect most likely it's going to drop down into the 9 range, 92, uh, 4 zeros, 9, 4 zeros, 92, and then probably start to spring from there. The last two times it came down to around 4 zeros, 92. So good accumulation period right here, great accumulation period right here. And then I would expect to see some sort of little reversal start to play itself out, getting back into this range, breaking out, probably getting rejected here a few times as it moves at around 11.6 before breaking out to the target of 15.938 and the longer target, which is kind of breaking out into this hitting this green line that's coming down. It's just it's just been a long-term descending channel here. So I don't think that it's going to break out above that for the moment. So uh, I would suspect that we're probably, you know, again, we're talking about it every day. And, and I know that it's frustrating because you want to see the big move. But if, if you're um, if you're hodling and you're not just trying to sell and, uh, you know, trade on the chart, then you no, know, it doesn't matter. Price action doesn't matter. What matters is building in the ecosystem, and that's what's happening. And that's what we're going to focus on going forward. As far as coin haul goes, uh, we had a nice little rip here from LCW, and then Tooting Common that we talked about two days ago, still running up 45% more on the day. So if you got in on that one, good shout out to you. Uh, Lunk Pepe down 10% today. A big run, though. Uh, had a big run over the last couple of days. Uh, and, and as you go down here, you can see like uh, there, there's you know, uh, food is up 94%. Food had a nice little rip today. Uh, so, you know, check them out. Uh, as far as station goes, nothing there. Volume down, volume down. USTC, Luna Classic, same thing. Just just kind of rejecting some of the volume there. So, um, Burn Tracker, 286 million. And then let's get into the new project here that we want to talk about today. There's two of them. First one is going to be Miata because one leads to the other. And this is at Miata underscore IO. If you are so inclined and interested, NFTs are still a big part of the market. And at some point, uh, gaming NFTs are going to be very important. And Luna Classic is a place where you can build games in the blockchain. So I would encourage you to go check it out. Now, this is the website over here. And I'm looking at one of them, which we're going to get into in just a moment. But this is the main page right here. If you want to explore your collections, you click on the button to explore collections. And then boom, now you've got a list of featured collections because they've made some changes to it and they, they rotate feature collections. But there's one I want to focus on right now, and it's going to be the Legends of Terratria. It's a brand new name. I don't know if it's going to be Terratria or Terratria, by the way, or Terratria, something like that. Um, I, I don't know how people like to, to uh, enunciate. So we'll get some uh, some official on that. But there is a trailer on it now. Uh, I was I'm in a private pro, uh, I'm in a private room here with a bunch of these uh, projects here to to go over every day. That's why I bring this to you because it's sponsored by Terraport um, for risk based gaming. Go to Terra Casino, check it out. Uh, we've seen it before, right? So. Uh, and do your trading on Terraport.finance. That certainly helps. All these meme coins are already listed over there. But Legends of Terretria, uh, which we're going to call it for right now, there is a trailer. So I'm going to show you that. So this is the trailer and really looks like as far as skinning and, and gaming goes at this point, the movements um, I mean, basically looks like maybe a, a slightly upscaled model of World of Warcraft. Uh, it's you know low polygon count. Um, you you can see the the grass, everything just kind of moving, but it's a you know like this is a a really simple, effective um, um, uh, sort of design that maximizes low end computers' abilities to play, or even allows for phones and stuff like that. And to be fair, I like I kind of like the design. I, 
played World of Warcraft many many years ago, so um, I, I was sort of I was a big fan of it. Um, the uh, it, but I mine, go, mine goes back way back to Arthas and the Lich King and all of that kind of stuff. So I don't know what they're on right now. I don't play the game. I haven't played it in ten years, fifteen years. So, uh, but uh, you know, I, it was a, a really good story, and you know, this looks kind of like World of Warcraft three. But when, you, when it comes down to it, it's a great art style, a lot of fun, Asian influenced. You can see from the swords, things like that. And of course, we've got a flying uh, Pegasus that you can um, uh, that you can ride around on. Decent movement so far. You can see it's alpha phase, but uh, it, you can see that there is some movement. And your stats over here, it looks like you've got, um, uh, it's got stamina, health, uh, energy, food, and water. So... Looks like there's a complicated system in here, or at least a fundamentally uh, system right here. I don't know what the penalties are if you get low on food or, you know, whatever the case is. But, um, you know, as you can see from the combat, pretty simple. Uh, there's no AI right now. You can tell that from, from these things moving around. They're either running uh, or, you know, what are the, they're not looking for you. So uh, they're probably working on a con system of some sort so that you can, you know, kind of get an idea so, uh, but very interesting, very, very interesting. And, and it looks like it's going to be uh, pretty fun. It looks like it'll be pretty fun. So uh, I would encourage you, if you haven't already, certainly go check it out. Um, and, and remember, it's going to be Legends of Terratria. There's an alpha probably going to open up pretty soon. I would encourage you to go check this thing out. Uh, try to, you know, see, see if you like it. See if it resonates with you. But uh, we're going to move on. And that's it. So... If you're looking at Miata underscore IO, and then you can go over there and you can see Legends of Terratria, and I'm sure there's going to be, the the, the the cards are going to be usable in the game. They'll give you the powers of flight. If you don't have it by default, or it'll give you a Pegasus if you don't have one, uh, again, by default, or if you can't earn one in the game. There's plenty of opportunity over here, and they're fairly inexpensive right now. Remember, these, this, they're, you know, it's microtransaction opportunity over here. And uh, there's even some, like, um, the wings, when you, 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 you have wings where you can fly yourself. And even those wings are, like, uh, metal bladed ones. If you remember Archangel from the X-Men, just, just some really cool stuff that, that you can go check out for uh, this game. But, uh, again, you, you find out I'm a little bit passionate for it because I like World of Warcraft kind of stuff and I like RPGs. So, um, hopefully you do too. And uh, hopefully you found this helpful and interesting. And if you will, make sure you hit the subscribe button if you like the type of content. Uh, and you know the drill. Do the rest. It's not financial advice, but I'm always right.